scary images there, and a lot of us did see some scary images today, but there's one that we will not forget, and it happened a year ago. May 13th, 2023 is when we had that EF1 tornado make landfall to, uh, to a touchdown, excuse me, in Laguna Vista, or Laguna Heights, excuse me, and we're able to see here uh, exactly what happened that day. This was uh, the winds, and you're able to see kind of that shift overall as we started to see that rotation within that area, uh, that tornado uh, warning went up, and of course it moved right through Laguna Heights overall. This is actually a radar loop of what happened about a year ago, and you're able to see here uh, not only this section, but then a secondary section. Then when those two collided right there, that's where we had the perfect storm uh, build up within that area and unfortunately give us that tornado within the area. Now, we look forward to now 76 degrees in McAllen, 71 in Harlingen and 73 degrees in Brownsville as things have finally calmed down after a very active afternoon into the evening and you're able to see our high resolution radar now uh, and most of the activity down towards the south or out towards the east and it looks like we are left now uh, with clearer conditions for the time being and it looks like that's going to continue overnight tonight. In fact, rain chance is now gone throughout the evening 75 in Rio Grande City right now or for tonight 75 in McAllen. 74 in Harlingen and 76 in Brownsville and that's roughly where we're at for a lot of these spots. Now I want to show you also the hail tracker uh, and how we tracked this storm uh, as it moved through and you're able to see kind of this tiger stripe thing happening uh, overall uh, and it started off as just cells that built up farther out and started to make its way on through kind of pulsating. You're able to see where the darker parts are. That's where we started to see the drop of the hail and then a second signature that moved out from the south going up towards the northeast. So uh, very interesting one, two, three. And then that one kind of dies off. Then we have more that builds up down towards the south that moved through. And then, of course, one that built up and then had, had went straight up towards the northeast. So, uh, again, a majority of it taking place mostly out towards the ranch lands. But it doesn't mean everyone was lucky. We did have uh, some hail out towards Edinburgh going into Ed Couch and Elsa. And then just a very scant uh, amount of it moving into Harlingen. Now, over the next few hours, you're noticing... Everything well far to the south, nothing really for us. It looks like we're finally in the clear now. Should be calm throughout the rest of the evening tonight. With temperatures tomorrow, unfortunately, rebounding back up to around 97 in Rio Grande City to 96 in McAllen, 93 in Harlingen, 92 out towards Brownsville. The other issue we're going to be having is the air quality for tomorrow, still leaving us in that orange, that unhealthy for sensitive groups. So just be careful. We have a lot of smoke coming in from the south. And of course, that's going to be cause of concern for many people out there, especially if you have asthma, the little ones, or of course, older people uh, may be running into uh, some uh, unfortunate conditions if you're going to be out and about. Stay indoors if possible. Here is your seven day forecast, keeping us within that mid 90 range over Tuesday and Wednesday. The clouds are going to start clearing up tomorrow going into Wednesday. And by the time we get to Thursday, unfortunately, temperatures back up into the upper 90s, low triple digits once again. We don't have any uh, heat advisories for tomorrow, but I would not be surprised if they start to make a return as we get into Thursday, leading into the weekend, moving back up to around 97 to 98 degrees, low triple digits, and we stay like that for the forecasted period.